Hey programmers, what is going on? It is episode 25. And as I stated earlier, I am taking a little detour here. Um, we are going to create a React app and we're gonna bring it up to the same place as our MVC app. And then we'll kind of go from there and maybe keep parity between the two. Maybe we'll bring in some other technology as well and just kind of have some fun with it. So hopefully this is really cool for you. Um, I'd like to, you know, expose people to a bunch of different technologies. And while we'll continue down the MVC path, I think you've got a pretty good start into how to create more pages and how to bring that, you know, whole concept to light. So I did have to make a couple of changes to our existing code, so I wanted to highlight those right now. But before I do that, All right, so taking a look at what we have so far, we have our login and once we log in, we have our product page. So this page should look a little bit nicer than where I left off last time. And that's this shaded box I added and made the images the same size. So I did a little bit of uh, manipulation in Photoshop to make sure everything is basically the same uh, size image. And while some of them still fill the frame of the image, you know, the, the actual image is close enough to the same size where our grid is gonna line up properly. So that was one thing I did. And to make the boxes stay centered, I did that with this code here, which is in our views shared, sorry, views products index. And I added this MX auto here and you can see uh, by the diff in, in our Git client that I added MX Auto and I added this BG Light, which gives that card body that light background on the bottom. That's this down here. It's kind of a light gray. Hopefully you can see that. And the other thing that I did was... I wanted to standardize these images that we had in the WW root assets images. They were called one, two, three. That was just kind of a placeholder uh, initially to give us somewhere to start. So I renamed those more closely to what they are and I put them inside the WW root assets images. So now that we're gonna make a React app, we may not have this exact path. So I wanted to more genericize the path for both of the technologies. So what I did in the MVC application is I put the word assets and then I put product image and product image is pulling the paths from each product in the database. So I then went into the database and I changed all of those to reflect the new names of each of the images and I just prefixed it with images slash figuring that I can pretty much keep these inside a folder called images whether I'm in any you know react or MVC or any other technology it kind of makes sense that I would have them in images although I could have really genericized and just put the name of the image but for now I think images slash is fine and because the images in the MVC live inside WW root assets images, I had to prefix this with assets slash, and then it'll pick up from the product images and then the name, and, and that'll give it the full path to those. So those are the changes in index, and then I removed all of the old images and added all of the new image names. And so you can pull that down with uh, the code from Git and if you are new to the channel, then there's a video that shows you how to get the code for every episode. So go ahead and check that out. And I'll put that in a card above. The next thing I kind of want to do is I want to bring React in. So I'm going to leave everything that we have 
so far and we're kind of recreating you know this this view right here so we've got something to go on and we used bootstrap to get us to this point so it makes sense to me to bring bootstrap into react as well and hopefully we can copy and paste most of the code from mvc into react all right so how do we get started with react well we're going to use something called create react app if we Google create React app, it'll bring us to these recommended tool chains. And if we choose create React app, you can see that once you have Node installed that you can just issue this command npx create react app. Well, we're going to do that, but we're going to also bring in TypeScript and we're going to bring in npm instead of yarn. We're going to use TypeScript because A, it's really popular and B, it gives you static typing and it really provides a lot of safety. So make sure that you have node installed. If you don't, that's just node.js.org and you can download the current version, which at the time of this video is 17.1.0. And that'll give you Node and NPM and this NPX that they're talking about. The difference between NPM and NPX is NPX will go ahead and download this program, create React app, and then it'll execute it. And then when it's done with it, it'll delete it. So you don't have to worry about downloading the latest version of Create React App. NPX will always make sure you have the latest one. And then to put in TypeScript and, and things like that, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the actual Create React App. So on this Create React App dot, create dash react dash app dot dev in the docs, if you search for TypeScript, it will bring you down to the selecting a template. And so creating a TypeScript app, you just put dash dash template, and then you tell it which template to use, which in our case is going to be TypeScript. And then we're also going to use the other package manager. So we're going to do dash dash use NPM as well. And then if you want to add bootstrap in there. So in the create react app dot dev site, if you go under building your app, we can go to adding bootstrap and then it will, it will show you that you just need to NPM install your bootstrap and then you need to import the CSS for the bootstrap in your index.js file in the source folder. Now when we do ours, it's going to be index.tsx because uh, we're going to have TypeScript. So let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go under terminal new terminal in VS code. We'll go into projects. Episode 25, in my case, I'm on take two, but you can just name yours, whatever you want. And then we'll go in the Noble Cause Savage Cell. We'll go into the UI folder. And right here, where we have the uh, MVC folder, you can add another one for React. So in my case, I'm gonna do MKDIR, and I am going to add a React folder. So now we have that folder and I'll be inside that React folder. If you don't want to do it by command line, feel free to use Windows Explorer, same thing, projects. And then when you drill down into the UI, all I did was make this React folder. So same thing. So now we're going to actually create that React app. So following the instructions from before, it's just npx create dash react dash app. And now we give the app a name. So let's call this one just Savage Cell, one word. And then we're going to give the, temp the template for TypeScript. So dash dash template TypeScript and then dash dash use dash npm. 
instead of yarn. And then we just execute that. And it will go and download React. If you're doing this on a Mac, it may ask you, is it okay if we download Create React app? Uh, on Windows, I think it just does it. And you can see that it's using this template for TypeScript, so we got that right. And so what this is doing right now is it's actually running the Create React app and that kind of gives a, a template, general kind of site uh, base template to run the application. And it also relies on a bunch of NPM packages. So it'll also download those packages and get everything ready for you. So it looks like it's done. So if we look inside our uh, project, we have our UI directory, we have our React, we have the Savage Cell, and then we have all the code here, including all the git ignore and common things that we need. So I can cd into Savage Cell and npm start. And this is just going to bring up a basic React start page. Cool. So it says edit source app TSX and save to reload. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to add the bootstrap in. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this npm line, npm install, save, bootstrap. And we're going to run that in the terminal. So since I'm already running React here in this terminal, I'm going to go and hit the little plus over here, and I'm going to open up a second one. And now I can just jump back and forth between them. And so in the second one, I have to get into that same directory. So ooh, CD projects. So here's all my files. Maybe that's easier to see. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and npm install dash dash save bootstrap. Let's see if there's a way to make that larger. Ah, it didn't like getting, it didn't like it, but it did it. Let's see if we can do that again. All right, so now let's try this again. And then the other thing it said was we had to go and import this into our index file. So let's go into, oh, the whole, everything crashed, huh? Or did I never, oh, I never opened the folder. All right, well, we can do that now. Projects, let's go into UI, React, Savage Cell, select folder. Cool. So now let's open up our two commands again. And let's go into source index.tsx and add that import for our bootstrap. So I'd like to make sure that bootstrap is working. And the easiest way I can see here is, um, and I'll go through this structure of how this all works in the next video. But for now, we're just going to go into this app, which is app TSX. And I'm just going to stick a button uh, right above where it says edit app TSX. So let's, um, let's save everything and do an NPM start. We can close this one because we're loading this one. Okay, cool. So right above where it says edit, I want to just stick a button because bootstrap buttons are really easy to identify, to see. And so I'm just going to do a, uh, a button and the button's going to say, uh, let's say made with bootstrap. So before I put those classes in there, let's hit save and you can see it's just an ugly uh, white button here.
so this white button we want to make look like a bootstrap button so we should be able to just go into this button and type class name equal and we'll do btn btn um, primary and when I save that now you can see that it's that nice blue button it changes with the hover the click color makes it kind of focus um, so yeah that that's that's a bootstrap button so I know I've got react installed I've got bootstrap installed so we'll still need to add some other things but this will give us the basics of making a react app getting bootstrap working with it so that we can start to bring our other ui code in so uh this is a great stopping point with just how to spin up a basic react app and the next episode we're going to focus on moving more of that code over from the mvc side into the react side so Hope this was good for you. Like and subscribe if you found it helpful. I do appreciate that greatly. And I will see you very soon, because I'm recording all these at once, online. <laughs>